Hi, I'm James, and today I'm taking you through how to create a UEFI bootable Windows 8 or 7 USB stick uh, using an application here called Rufus. You can see here we have already got the USB stick inserted. I'm selecting the GPT partition scheme for UEFI computer and loading in my Windows 8.1 ISO image here. Um, now this correctly sets the file system and cluster size according to the ISO image and my USB stick so I'm beginning the process here by clicking start and OK to tell it that it's OK to completely erase the USB stick that I'm using. Um, make sure that if you have multiple sticks attached to the system that you select the correct one because they will be completely erased. Um, here we've sped up the process, it takes about 15 minutes in my system to create this stick just using USB 2. USB 3 devices of course will be quicker but there are uh, you're around about 3.8 gigabytes of data for this particular image so it will take a while particularly on USB 2. Now as the final files are just copying over. And if we close Rufus and we can see the contents of the stick now are our Windows 8.1 image. Now I move over to my other system uh, which is a desktop system using an ASUS board. here just going into the boot settings if we scroll down we can see that this board is set up so that only UEFI boot options are enabled legacy boot is disabled um, I haven't yet turned on secure boot but that would be an option as well with the UEFI Windows 8.1 install so we bring up the boot menu select our memory stick this returns us to the ASUS logo and after a few moments we'll see the little loading symbol there and because we can see the boot logo and that symbol we know we are getting a UEFI boot. And here we are in the Windows installer ready to install the system and get going. I hope this video has been helpful, please check out more of our content on our channel and subscribe if you like what we do.